And hello everyone, Snack here, and in this video, we'll be exploring a charming indie game where we could become a proprietor in a medieval fantasy town, where our goal is to build and manage a thriving community to support a band of heroic adventurers. We could also build shops, craft equipment, and manage resources to help our heroes grow stronger as they embark in a perilous quest. With this blend of town management and RPG elements, a hero's arrest offers a unique and engaging experience for players who enjoy management and customization. Let's go ahead and check out a Hero's Rest in RPG Town Simulator. And before anything else guys, thank you so much again for being here and uh, if you're new, feel free to like and subscribe as that would really mean a lot to me as well. All right, let's do it. All right, as you can see, we are in a window where we could name our town. Okay, fish and chips. So let's see how many maps we have. A new beginning, mountain pass, hanging gardens, riverside. This looks interesting. Okay, I realize I live in a river side, so we'll do that. Okay, we'll go ahead with normal. Take it easy, right? All right, let's go. And would you look at that? What a beautiful place to start our adventure. Uh-huh, there's a lot of body of water. I like it. It's just more lively if there's a lot of water around. And we have a nice piece of land here where we could start our business operations. Wow, would you look at that, guys? This looks gorgeous. Um, I'm glad you asked. I prefer being a hands-on type of guy. To get started, uh, move your camera. Okay. Sure, we can do that. Rotate. Feels great. We can zoom out and zoom in. Perfect. All right, so if you look at the upper left-hand corner, there is a bouncing arrow. Um, this is the resources uh, portion of the game, and uh, we'll have to keep an eye on this one because this this is like our uh, life lifeline here. It's like our blood uh, of the business. So we have here our time and a day. Okay, seems like we have all the information we need to keep track of everything, especially the seasons. There's also speed controls. Okay, that's cool. And uh, right here below is our the lower left is our uh, general information. So there's a lot of uh, uh, things that we need to maintain aside from the stocks right especially our reputation and uh, we need to make sure that the king is happy with our progress you see that right there all right so uh, we need to build at least five floors nine walls and a door we need to keep it as a minimal guys because if you see here the bigger the lot the more taxes we need to pay so we'll go ahead with construction uh floor wooden floor uh well they are all the same the prices in between a wooden stone cobblestone but i'd like my uh, my i'd like myself to start with a wooden uh place i i just want it to be it just, i want to see something that's you know that's more organic five floors we'll see first i need to decide uh where to start let's uh zoom out a bit and i want to figure out where the traffic is going like our adventure is going oh there's more plots here okay do okay um this one would be great right oh this is cool but i want to see a put uh this one is also nice there's a, a beautiful fishing spot right here all right i have decided you guys we go ahead with this if we can all right this one with the fishing spot was this would be perfect right awesome awesome just awesome you guys so we need to use e q and e to rotate okay so this is floor number one two uh hold uh right shift to craft again okay we actually made like uh, six floors and then uh some walls i, I wanted a, a wooden a wooden uh wall you guys let me see oh geez that's fine we'll go ahead with a stone wall there you go uh, all right we're looking good so far hold on uh i oh here it is i was supposed to 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 build a whole, this kind of wall not this one because again i wanted things to be rustic and more organic and i know walls are made of stone but i want i want wood <laughs> Oh jeez, can we sell? Oh, yeah, we could sell. Like we hope we have like forty nine thousand gold, so we could just go ahead and sell them. Uh, how could we? Okay, delete. Okay, or double click. All right, there you go. Haha. <laughs> okay, we can uh, build a lot of windows. 
Oh, it looks so good. Um, unfortunately, the, the wall or the floor doesn't fit, right? I need to pause, man. I spent like a day building this. It is too much, so we'll just pause a bit. All right, and finally, we are getting there, guys. What I'm envisioning is slowly uh, materializing in front of us. So looks like... Oh, okay, there you go. Aha, uh -huh. hold on. Okay, there you go. Uh, would you look at that? It looks so cool. Uh -huh. Okay, so we, we've built nine walls. One, two yep and then uh we need now to build a door i think this door should do all right so let's see what's next all right now we need an innkeeper so we can serve a warm meal for those tired adventurers and yep this is it and that should be right in the middle all right you guys so in order for all of this to function we need to meet the requirements and one of that is to buy a land and uh build a new workshop like a forge for us a progress okay let's do that okay let's look for a cheapo land preferably near our place as well oh these are expensive five but this is the most <laughs> the cheapest i think uh let's see it's four thousand here 16 all right i think this will do right here but man look at this it's too far it's too far from our main uh place uh I think it's fine as long as it's within the area. But I could go ahead with uh, this as well. It's kind of near. It's half the price. And uh, if if the if there's if there's a caravan that's gonna be delivering the materials, they're gonna go right here and straight to our place. Or the other one that cost two thousand straight here and they're gonna go here i think they're just almost the same the same distance oh yeah they're just the same because you're gonna have to bypass i mean uh walk around this river right here so let's just uh, get this uh land over here all right now now we need to uh build a forge all right there you go so if you look at the uh left side of the screen um we have the objectives finish building the blacksmith uh we did build this uh, blacksmith forge okay now let's go to the next okay i just bought a uh, land i oh okay we need to craft or build it let's see what will happen you guys all right okay there you go ah this is where we're gonna uh, be creating our wares for the shop right oh this is so exciting we could craft oh, oh we could also name the weapon and craft the item type and i'm pretty sure everyone needs like a uh, one-handed sword is it's better to go with a sword or then without uh, an armor right all right one-handed sword all right so here oh we could actually name it okay we could also uh do randomized right okay we could uh craft higher tiers but it will cost more resources and finally the item cost in current stack or stock all right this is so exciting because you know what this is actually like cooking but in this case you are you're forging iron all right let's see um we're gonna be forging a blade and the weapon's gonna be okay we'll go ahead with this name uh tier no active classes using this item uh color one. Oh, you we could actually see it all right not bad and um well we'll go ahead and and craft 10 pieces of it oh okay uh if you notice these are the parts right the blade and then uh the guard oh we could we could individually uh craft the part of the sword and also we could choose what type of sword it is i want to craft a 200 sword this one looks badass uh for the guard all right i think this looks good time to craft this great sword unfortunately what was that again okay inventory full build more stockpiles stockpiles let's see where can we build a stack pile all right there it is small stock pile we couldn't afford it hold on we need what okay we could just craft a small stockpile for now and where could we build it can't place there i've checked everything there's not a place where we could fit uh place it maybe we could place it in our main oh there you go in our main uh building and there you go and now we should be able to craft that oh geez let's just randomize everything all right this is fine i'm gonna craft 10 of them again inventory what inventory full build more stockpiles okay it looks like i made a mistake you guys if you look at the left side a blacksmith requirement we need to build like walls like a legit building look at that we need to 
we build a door and all those stuff that we did on in our first in our main uh, building so it looks like we've i've done a, i've done a shortcut <laughs> okay uh is there a way to destroy this one yep let's destroy this first and let's build uh let's do proper building all right we have our little place time to place our oh it should be outside right okay let's place it here okay and uh we need to build uh one counter a vendor counter okay and a stockpile all right we did it okay now well, it's time to craft new training options unlocked all right now we need to click the innkeeper button in our corner to fast oh this is so convenient you'll have to manually move here to there we can just click this one here at the lower left hand corner and we are back now we need to build a uh, one oven and a quest board all right one oven oven is right here all right that is perfect next is a one uh quest board aha there you go uh we could place the quest board it should be inside or yeah outside is is fine awesome you guys all right now we need to check out and uh learn how to manage our shops and heroes and this is actually new because usually we just manage resources but in this game we are also managing heroes nice so we need to click on the end vendor so this is where we could check out the status of our shop and the most important part is the shop quality for now we're uh, like <laughs> we're half a uh, star uh, we'll see what happens once we you know learn how to manage everything so station name hello station so progress and decorations play a big part of upgrading a shop so we need to add two tables and a few chairs all right all right let's put some uh tables first and some few chairs all right i think this will do click on the innkeeper counter okay craft food we need to craft 10 meals all right tier one we have this bottle of uh what is this there is no name bottle of what wine and apple uh cake or something okay oh it's a juice an apple fruit cake and uh, an ice cream if you look at this part here all right let's go ahead with uh juice first 10 meals i uh, will go ahead with uh five of these uh five of apples five cakes and five uh, ice creams no not five i mean not one i need five but okay our inventory is full <laughs> need to build more stockpiles all right that should do it and now we need to craft uh five ice creams so this uh ice cream will restore 10 percent hp 10 percent mp it's for mana and the rest okay let's just uh craft a variety of them to meet all the requirements of our you know patrons all right that is done oh this is exciting you guys look at this crafting items cost resources as you already know but to gather most of them you will need to send leaving heroes on quest to get them for you so let's set some quest for them so we need to craft three farming and mining gather quests for okay for a, a pineapple okay this one craft quests okay so we have two objectives uh the gather objective and slaying objective i think this one will go late for now we'll have to gather resources so gather quest provides less rewards at lower risks and the slay quest is uh, the opposite all right so the higher the difficulty the bigger is the reward all right so we're gonna watch out for the cr or challenge rating so it seems that we need to find the balance in between uh challenging at the same time not that hard because if we it's if if a quest is gonna be effortless that means a slow hero progression and it's an overwhelming quest it will become an impossible deed so we'll have to find that balance all right so we need to make sure that the heroes is gonna take are taking quest within their say, cr range okay we'll, we'll take note of that and now we are at the quest payout okay looks like uh uh, the payout's gonna be half and half you know the the hero will be paid in full once he returns if he survives all right okay uh first we need to gather things not slate but ga gather uh farming and mining with a cr of 9 to 13 cr okay uh we need to gather food aha uh -huh, there you go location oh only the roads okay uh we need like five okay all right so it 
it's only asking for 9 to 13 CR rating. So we'll keep it this way right here. And let's start quest listed. Okay, perfect. Oh, this is so exciting because I've been uh, watching uh, Isekai lately. And oh, yeah. There are guilds, there are quests, and uh, this game would let me, you know, it's like we have one guy here. And yeah, this game would let me live my my, my dream or fantasy of managing a guild, at least. Uh, for now, let's wait. Uh, okay, let's fast forward. So if you look at the lower left-hand corner, we've sold a one juice. We got 21 gold from that. The weapon master is looking for heroes, but I haven't set what? Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, next. Well, most resources can only be gathered by your heroes. Some can be also be found in the wild. I took the liberty to find these mushrooms for you. But keep in mind that there's a total of four resource types you can find in the wild. So keep your eyes open for... Okay, we could actually click. Okay, looks like we have our uh, weapon uh, master right here. Once you search camp, click on the weapon master to open uh, the train menu and search for a new class to get a okay train class which class should we train seek new class oh geez we could also like make a class in this game i'm mind blown right now okay uh i want to i also wanted to go like the the berserker guts <laughs> style so we'll go ahead with with the berserker and it's gonna be two-handed sword and the armors should be like oh we, we, we need light or a tailor okay all right for now we'll go ahead with two-handed sword go ahead with a strength we could also this is so cool you guys we could also decide which uh, what what class badge a warrior i need a two-handed badge uh, this one looks like a berserker all right so we are recruiting a berserkers all right so the heroes of our choice it seems that uh we were actually posting an advertisement i were looking for a hero that uses one hand sword our two-handed sword with a strength attribute so that was fun so um heroes love to buy new equipment and we love to sell it so let's make sure we are ready for them Okay, seasoned heroes already have their trusted suppliers, so you are likely to see mostly new, inexperienced heroes arriving in town. Therefore, we want to make sure we'll be crafting uh, new equipment. And we gotta go to our blacksmith and craft three to five pieces that fits the, the class that we're looking for. Uh, that means we need like uh, 200 swords just randomize everything all right i think this is good let's craft five of them okay nice what uh it broke our fifth sword broke okay so we've crafted four or five one is broken that's fine so at least we've crafted one quality item actually i think i saw two or three so if the gear isn't to our expectations we can keep it to sell later or trade with the traveling traders that will show in your town from time to time heroes may also leave on quests without gear but this will eventually impact their morale ah uh, all right so aside from heroes there's also uh like regular people visiting our inn to to eat to have a drink to have a good time oh geez this is fun so we need to go back to our inn build a beehive stand all right upgrade and then a beehive stand well if it's a beehive stand it should be outside right oh it should be in and place it in the in lot in lot so it should be in the lot not inside the inn if i'm not mistaken all right that is it looks like people are pouring in our little shop i think we need to uh craft more tables right all right we have our third or second table okay now we need to uh stock the beehive ah oh, we need to click on it is there a way for us to automate this all right we are almost done the difference from a successful town to a crumbling one comes to how prepared you are for your new arrivals make sure to check your arrivals often to separate the heroes from visitors click on new visitors to get more information about them in their character sheet you can see the heroes which are represented by their class icons and their class name and more what uh, be sure to always have meals that will benefit your returning heroes and most in quest that match their cr after healing at the inn uh, you can also see what they think of your town which can help you improve okay now uh, also you are set for a blistering adventure 
Remember to keep track of your hero's whereabouts and their detailed stats of the hero manager up there here or by pressing 5. Okay. And if you wish to take a closer look, you may press... Alright. Ah, it has been such an emotional experience like growing a lamp to serve it later for dinner. <laughs> I hope by now you have you have the tools to manage this place and that he'll pay your tax daily. Yes, daily. Farewell, my friend, and good luck. Okay. Well, looks like that was a fun tutorial. Now we need, if you look at the upper left-hand corner, we need uh, three heroes to join our hero roster. Uh, your hero accumulated additional resources. Ah, nice. Okay. Uh, I want to see where is my hero. So if you see here at the lower uh, left, we have one out of one hero and three visitors and our, our town population is four. Okay, we also have here at the upper right, our hero manager, the, the swords. And let's see. Okay. Oh, there is our hero, our very first hero, you guys. Oh, she's a, a woman. Her name is Valerie, a Valkyrie. Okay, she has like 128 HP, 38 MP. Oh, her morale is like 50% only though. CR is 13. She got a jagged two-handed sword of good luck. It's all right. <laughs> no accessories. Uh, let's see what else she has. She has uh, 10 strength and 12 uh, constitution. A warrior indeed. And she just got her drinks. What else? Nope, I don't want to remove her. She's the pioneer. And there she is. Oh, looking, looking proud. Okay, let's see where she's going. Uh, looks like... We've lost her when she entered the cave, but that's fine. Uh, now we need to, uh, I need to figure out which one to focus first. Since there, we have a lot of visitors coming, uh, let's craft more food and we're gonna have to have our hero uh, fetch some resources, right? That's five, a uh, fruitcake, and finally uh, the ice cream. Aha, uh -huh. awesome. All right, now time to post this uh, quest. Oh. I have three heroes join. Oh, new heroes join? Ha, awesome. We have now three heroes. That's wonderful. Now I have a question. If we list uh, a quest, once a hero takes that quest, will it will that quest no longer stay in the quest board or it will it will stay there persistently? Because I wanted to have a continuous you know gathered uh resources for the food right without having to reset the quest crafting anyway we have here the raids oh there's also a slay quest right this one right here build k seek two heroes class different attributes okay this is cool this is cool but for now we'll have to focus on uh managing our in make sure that we 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 get used to it before we go to hero raids, which should be fun. Okay, if you see, we have not one, two, three heroes. Finally, we have this guy right here. Greetings, I'm Vera Suzeran, general and military advisor to His Majesty the King. We have seen a rise in host hostile activity across the realm in the Dragon Fang Peaks of the North. It seems that a great danger has awoke awoken and havoc is imminent. Your orders are to arm and train those capable of war and protect the land bestowed upon you. We recently spotted an imminent imminent threat in your area. You are to send urgent missions to repel this atrocity. Okay, we have a threat. Eight days before we could dispatch quests to eliminate threat right your performance will be reviewed every season at the end of the 15th day and may be rewarded with gold and perhaps a piece of land the defense of the realm depends on you don't disappoint me yes ma'am oh look at this at the upper right hand corner we also have retired heroes and uh let's see the town ledger and if you see here it looks like Haley just bought her very first weapon not bad nice all right looks like i i've got the hang of this game and uh oh well it, it has a pretty interesting mechanic because it's like really cooking but instead of food um you're crafting uh some swords and uh, the fun thing is that i was expecting that it's gonna be totally just uh, managing heroes but in this case you'll also be managing not just a blacksmith where heroes go but also an inn where visitors regular people go dine in which is totally fun so i kind of like it so i highly recommend you go ahead and do a wish list or even get this game especially if you're into rpg fantasy style so yep for more videos you can look at the lower part of the screen and again thank you so much for being here and if you're new don't forget to like and subscribe once again may we always walk with patience and kindness because this is what love is see you on the next video